seven. Built in 1936, so it's 75 years old. And they're a very odd looking engine, aren't they? They've got this thing at the front, and sometimes people say to us, what have you done? Why have you put that thing at the front? But this is a Bayer Garrett locomotive, a very unusual type of articulator loco. It's articulated because behind the cab, in front of the smoke box here, there's a, there's a bearing which, makes, which allows the front engine unit and the back engine unit to go round corners. It goes on very sharp bends. And I say engine unit, under this water tank there is a lot of wheels driven by those cylinders and at the back under the bunker it's the same arrangement. But the place where you normally see wheels on a steam engine under the boiler, this is the boiler, it boils the water, there are no wheels. Very unusual. So the boiler hangs between the front engine and the back engine. It's actually two engines controlled by one crew. So it's very powerful um, and it, it's extremely flexible. Mm. So it's built to go up narrow gauge, lightly laid railways that have very sharp bends and very steep gradients. And it's a very powerful loco. Um, one of the beauties of having no wheels under the boiler is that the boiler is a big boiler, really a much bigger boiler than you'd normally be able to get on a narrow gauge loco. Mm. It sits quite low in the frame, so there are no wheels in the way, mm. so the centre of gravity is very And it's, it's a very short boiler because it's nice and fat. And because it's short, it means that the difference in water level over the fire here doesn't change very much whether you're going up a hill or a downhill. So this is a mountain railway engine to build carrying heavy loads on small gauge railways that have lots of bends and lots of gradients. They were very unusual in this country. There are hardly any of them in this country. But mostly in this country, our railways are flat and straight. Um, but on bendy mountain railways, these were the things I have. And when we decided in 1990 to build, or rather rebuild, a bendy mountain railway, by happy coincidence, all the railways in South Africa which were built for the CA were closing down. So we bought shiploads of rail, sleepers, wagons, coaches, well not coaches, diesel locos, and four of these very unusual engines. This is uh, the oldest of the four, um, but it's basically the same as the others that we, uh, we run. The one that you'll see at Rizvi, at the top of the hill, the green one, uh -huh. is the very last one that was built in Manchester, where almost all of these were built. This one was unusual, it was built in Belgium, 1936, but the Manchester builders were too busy to meet the order. Strange, it's strange to build a mountain engine. Anybody else travelling, please? Uh, yes, well, they just, they had the, 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 they the, the, the just took the drawings and said, build one like that. They knew how to build them. Thanks.